morning, sun. A very good morning to you uh, this beautiful Tuesday morning uh, towards the tail end of Feb. Kila mtu tunangoje sana. Feb is at least mshara inge. Ah, right. So today, of course, every Tuesday we like to talk about uh, different issues, and today we're talking about something very interesting. If you are a man, come closer. If you are a woman, uh, yeah, come closer as well. You might understand a thing or two. Non Sizi, Agnes is with us, Sapa. How are you? Ukwaji. Niko salam. Mpenda luku. Viatu pia ziko sawa. Let me tell you, the shoes. Kuna shukam. The shukam, no. Nibile, mwenye shukam, anafanya kazi ngine. But eventually, tutapata. But it looks amazing. Thank you. Shata boy. Ule mudi ya ngara. Uko in the area. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Feeling aire? Feeling aire. I can't take. Oh, I think, man. CJ, welcome. Thank you. Yes, you're good? Yes, I am. Everything is okay? Yes. Liverpool not in standing? Ukiona a man of prayer haombe iti miyake. Nikubwa. Unachua nikufa. Oto wazi manga vitu zingine wacha kusumbua mungu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what my father used to say. And DNG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ako kwenye Skype. How are you doing? Niko sawa kapisa. Where will we be? Mimi niko sawa. You had a good week? Yes, yes, we could have a salama to me out of his guri, munguri munguri. Amina, amina, amina. All right, so today uh, we're talking about, uh, well, what T.D. Jakes actually coined the phrase, he called it he emotions, uh, which is basically men's emotions, uh, and why it is difficult for men to open up and talk. And, uh, yeah, and where it is. So that's the question of the day. You see it there on the screen. Why do you think it is hard for men to open up? Why do you think it is hard for men to open up SMS 22422? Hashtag is daybreak. You can tweet us on at Citizen TV Kenya. That is the question of the day, as you can see there on your screens. Those are the platforms that you can reach us. Open up. If you are a lady, tell us why you think so. And if you're a man, tell us why you don't open up <laughs> when you have problems. Yeah, so today, at of course, yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're looking at me, you already have. Ukona to be to nataka ku. CJ, um, I don't know if you face this difficulty as well, having cancelled several people. Um, is it difficult generally? Why do you think it's difficult generally for men to open up? Uh, well, it's, it's a trust issue, mostly. Themselves? Uh, or? I always say this, that men want to feel safe for them to open up. It's more about the environment and the perception after. What do you want them to open up about? You know, it's easy for men to open up about uh, very superficial things. When it's personal, when it is struggles, when there are things perceived to be weakness, they find difficulty in that because the environment may not be very conducive for them to do that. They're thinking, uh, how will somebody look at me or perceive me after they know that I am not all that. Mm. Um, the, the phrase, be the man, is nearly something that is supposed to mean that you've got to be strong and you've got to be tough. Macho man. So the challenge for men is this, that when you show emotion, you're considered weak. When you don't, you're considered mean. So they have this <laughs> conflict <laughs> over here. Yeah. They don't know what to do with their emotions. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they have to feel very comfortable. But men do open up mm -hmm. in safe places. In safe places. And we'll talk about DNG. What, what in your view, do you think is the reason why in a Kwanga Gumu Manome Kusema, I, DNG, Mazemina, or Mia, Napitia, Bana? First and foremost, Bana, really, the upbringing is a problem. Hmm. Boys do not cry, boys don't cry. Starting has been ingrained in us, and we understand that as a result, we're not supposed to show any feelings, any emotions, we're not allowed to. But on our nation, what my feelings come and we that is the challenge. Therefore, men, uh, because of that, we pile up our emotions, we pile up our feelings until one day, in explode. Mm. <laughs> and that is the problem right there, when it explodes. Mm -hmm. Since I'm coming to you, when you're going to ask a specific question. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, in man. your view, this is something we've talked about before also on radio. Yeah. Um, but in your view, why do you think, generally, to before you go into the specifics, mm -hmm. one moment they don't open up that easily? 
Number one, they don't know it is their right to open up. Wanafikiri agano wana ibia. You see, because no one has ever told, taken the time to tell a, a man mm -hmm. that it is okay to open up. Mm -hmm. You get, mm -hmm. and they consider it a weapon. If a man is opening up to you, they, they at some point they will feel that. Kama, in fact, asha why na aka aka attack you now later on, they feel this is a weapon I'm giving anyone against me. Because any time I get into an argument, this will be used against me. So for that reason, I won't uh, I won't harm you. Mm -hmm. I, I won't give you a tiller to attack me. So what can you do to Danny Young? So there are two things that have been mentioned across these conversations. Yeah. There is what CJ has said. Well, one, one major thing. CJ said men open up in safe, in safe places, spaces. In safe spaces. Yes. But we also told people women want to be safe and secure. So, yes. Sasa, where is the balance? Why do you think men don't open up, especially to their, to their girl, girl child, to their women? Like CJ said, it's about trust. It's about trust. And you see, trust is not something you gain in a day mm. or two. As you advance in a relationship or a marriage, you figure out that someone is able to slowly be able to open up to you. But in the initial stages, you don't know this person. And like... Shatter said, you don't know if this will be used against you in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the court of arguments. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So, I mean, men should open up, and it's really, really highly recommended. This thing of man up, don't dear, don't do whatever, but it's a safe space. So the question is, what is that safe space for a man to open up? Is it counseling? I know some men are very... <laughs> Mimi, hey. you think I have a problem? Hey. Take me. <laughs> yeah. So, what is that safe space? If because one should, your partner should be probably the first person. But again, relationships are different. That should be the ideal situation, I know. But what I think the question is, what is the safe space? Mm. But also, men who struggle, actually, most men who struggle to open up, they also don't know how to deal with our emotions as women. Mm. So me, I just come crying at night do because I had a bad day. Then you don't know what to do with me. So they just don't know how to deal with their emotions. Yeah. Even now with our emotions. And you know, mm. women are very, ah, see, see, one time I just come, rant, and, and we are done. And but over. you don't know how to, even you're looking at me like, do I hug you? Yeah. What, what do, do I, I do? What do I do? Do I speak to you? <laughs> Yeah. All right. And so in, in that regard, then, uh, uh, CJ, why is it, is it, why would men rather, instead of going to talk to their partner, they go to the bar, for example, and drink the problems away, or sit in the parking lot and drink the problems away, especially if the problem is in the house. But, <laughs> 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 but why would they rather do that, do you think? You know, uh, relationships are very interesting because when a man relates with a woman there's this uh, responsibility he has over this woman one to protect her so generally a man will feel he needs to protect this woman by all means now if he's going to talk to her and it's going to raise issues he would rather not talk it's not because he doesn't want to talk he doesn't want issues so you'll see men who have been either married or they've related for a while they nearly look tame because uh, they've <laughs> somehow been domesticated. They will avoid trouble at all points because he loves, so he doesn't, he doesn't want to fight with what he loves. He would rather be quiet, which again will be misunderstood because then the other person will be thinking, you don't love me anymore, that's why you're not talking to me and you're not paying attention to me, but the guy is avoiding trouble. So there's a false sense of, like you said, men are trying to protect, so they're protecting them from him. Even or protecting the other both. Okay. <laughs> both. Well, it depends on what needs to be opened up about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think we, have to, we have to actually define that. Right. Because in a sense, uh, we always say ladies open up, but I'll tell you mm. about so many things apart from specific things like 
if they've fallen in love with somebody else outside of that, you know, it's easy to catch a man who's cheating. It's easier mm -hmm. to catch a man who's cheating I than agree. a lady. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's easier to put a man on the spot uh, for them to open up that they are seeing somebody else mm -hmm. than to put a lady on the spot. They will not admit that. Um, they can open up about a bad day at work and about who hurt them elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to those kind of things as well, they don't. Mm -hmm. So what you are opening up about will determine how this person is going to handle this. Mm -hmm. If it is going to raise issues and temperatures in the house, uh, they're going to fight, I, or maybe their partner is going to react to it, they would rather just keep quiet, mm. you know. Uh, or go and open up to somebody where there are no sticks, like what you're talking about, in the bar, mm. and sit over there, just drink, then this the random barman. lady will come, or, or the hey, barman, barman, or whatever. Barman, have, <laughs> <laughs> barman, hey. barman have assistance. They are called shorts. They are called shorts. Bangana, ati e kuili. Okay. So you think you're getting better, but really you're getting higher. Didn't she? Ah, no. Since you mentioned something in a statement, she said that sometimes when, especially if you're related for long, and I think she just said it, or when you're married, then it becomes difficult to open about certain things. Do you think that? Some of these things should be opened up about, and now we'll get to the specific of the things to be opened up about, as CJ said, before, before you get into uh, like a, a marriage or start living together, etc. Firstly, you know, uh, we need to understand what the problem is. So the problem is that uh, men have just been inculcated in just to, to show strength. And uh, we, you know, opening up is perceived as a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. So even in a relationship, you know, what happens is that as a man, you shield yourself uh, and therefore also shielding your partner from, from those kind of issues, as I can say it. So, you know, if you, if, you know, but what, what, what should be done in a healthy relationship is communication. Mm. And, and if you're trying to build a healthy relationship, then you have to open up to your partner, you have to talk to them. For example, if you're dealing with financial trouble, um, instead of like just carrying that cross on your own, and being quiet about it and going through drama, always coming home drunk, and the wife is like, when you what's up with this guy? You'd rather just come out and say, hey, I say busy coaching, the end is pretty, and let it be. You have to live and live it. You know, uh, it, it's healthier, you, you, you pile up less, and also, you know, I think women would also appreciate that line of communication where um, you're asking for help. As a man, I think we, in today's generation, um, you should not fear asking for help. You know, if you do not ask, you do not receive. Perhaps even the help you, the help you need is right there next to you in your home. Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes it is help. Sometimes it is not. Shut the boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> one, of things, one of the things that, uh, you know, uh, you mentioned there immediately, and I've also had it, that non sisi mwenyewe, manake wanajijua. If you say something, mm -hmm. Let's say uh, maybe I was I was being physically abused as a child or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then later on in an argument, kid you fanyiko ski. No mana Dio mana will go to fanyo evo. No mana baba will go to fanyo evo. Uh women use this thing as a as a national. Do you think that is uh, one of the major contributors below Mesema and what should be done that tuta fungul tuta tuta open up kwa nani? Kama mutuetu anatukashifu. <laughs> during some kitu kwa kisema the last bullet sasa unapenda ma bullet zako zote zote acha nikwambie ukweli tu ili maybe watu wengi wanazakataa men open up actually to ladies but not your lady why because maybe probably the things you need to open up about are the things that she is part of <laughs> and and this is not about like oh, unfaithfulness. Uh, uh, yes. Kuna mtu ni kama mm. You don't have to get no sense in his face. No, no, no. 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 No, that is something that yeah, it happens everywhere, man. Una pata unongia na mdem, maybe atani job. Una na una yuliza gaka matadi party. Do party opinion. So men, yes, men open up as a third party. Hey, ano ano pa ni njia kama matadi party. Mazeku na bestiango na pitei na i na i. 
unaona ngaje kwa hiyo unge du sasa kijana kuambia unajua hiyo ndio reason yake oh so inafaa kuenda hivi unaelewa another thing kuna kuna vitu uko tu kwa mtaa so saya tu kama zile jo kuna kwa mtandao mwanaume ni mwanaume ni kujifunika na kofia <laughs> unaona una. mwanaume ni yani vitu zinafanya kama mwanaume akae beast mm. una get na, na the more na you see if you want people to believe something keep tell, keep hammering it in their heads they will believe it mm. so society na kongebe make hivyo tunakaa ni joke mwanaume oh mwanaume ni jasho mwanaume ni this unapata unatolewa the human part of you the human part of you inatolewa inatolewa <laughs> yani you are being made to appear like a beast yes una get yeah. by so doing hata ukienda ku open up una feel sasa i am not being that person that society describes unaelewa i love if you are pia i think kama ni ku open up mostly we, we go in bars to open up because we, we can dismiss it as 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 drunk talk drunk talk Mm. Tunaenda nitakwambia ukweli zangu. Si basi lewe uende uongee nyumbani. Sasa unaona eh yeah, but nyumbani zao ni gagi bro. Hata hii je kwa ba. Kwa ba hata kesho tukipata na wewe uniambie shata uliniambia kwa na shida tukambia aje kwa nimeelewa bro. Unaona ni dismiss. So one mm. we're forgetting that we're talking in the capacity of a relationship yet. Yes, but yes. imagine there's a man somewhere a young man who is going through a lot of struggles in life there's no job you have rent to pay you have people to support you even you yourself you have yourself to support and they don't even know how you know to mm. to let this out because i think the way we've grown we've been grown up and that's the thing men are generally told not to it, it's a sign of weakness but you see forget even relationships i think in this tire let's say they are in the list you know kia ni jamana jaribu you know you 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 see the issues that are affecting the young people could youth in so how do they go about it how who do they go to who do they talk to leave alone even relation hata ujaoa sasa hata uju utaoa na nini unaona nilisikia sasa mtu ana shop dawari na shop dawari kama quotation unachukua kwa kwa wakina non season unachukua kwa no leave alone even that the fact that life is generally hard and it's hard and that's why we seeing outburst the government's not doing this you're blaming your parents how but do you but your government now if they're not doing they're not doing, they're uh, not doing. No, they're stressed or not this is the same this is the same but you see that's the thing there needs to be a place for them to be able and i'm glad churches are trying the, i mean i i have seen churches doing it mm because there needs to be a place for where girls hang out i don't know what when if young men when they hang out they talk about what i'm going through willis sisi sana sana ni ngumu but siku hizi siku hizi there there are some sort of yeah. uh, uh, another kwa even the even However, the ones in high school i'd like to get huh? a perspective of what shatter said yeah. here that it is easier for a man to open up to a lady but not his lady it's it's gonna be opening up for a while then it's gonna grow to another thing that's why you hear if i'm married to someone then what they call it, emotional it's pillow talk we <laughs> call it pillow <laughs> 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 then some things talk you like at what point did you tell another woman this uh, it's pillow talk it's it's that of party opinion until it's not that party opinion in a court the only party it is the I'm only just a yeah. party so, <laughs> you might think it's a party to start with yeah. until it's not yeah, but man. how come there is when there is no platonic relationships lazima tu kukuwa na kakiru dng mtu hawezi tu ongea na mtu bila kitu lakini no sisi hapo na point kali hapo willis bana it's dangerous it's a slippery slope when you start uh, bring that other woman close man say sooner than later hold on to zile unalia meku hug kwa ni hug unalia make right kwa ni kiss kwa ni oi great so let's be real and honest with ourselves man you get i think uh, even when we talk about opening up in the bar How much do we really open up in the bar? Yes, in the bar is easier because there is less inhibition because you're drunk or tipsy. But uh, to open it up to do 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 a was it? It was going home. Let's say home in normal kaliku na mambia to a was it? To na picture picture to my mambo. Eh, but it's a good to say. Fifty fifty cheers cheers. And I'm going to say fifty 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 fifty. That is like sweeping up the matter under the carpet, under the carpet. Yeah. and one thing will is you, you, you need to talk about this morning is what are the consequences of not showing your emotions and not opening up you know what are the consequences yeah. are also i think we'll, we'll need like to that to help challenges stress depression mm. we've seen guys committing suicide just because they were, had bottled up so much 
those things can be averted and can be prevented. All right. Well, we need to remind you guys of the question of the day so that uh, even our digital team can put it up. Uh, so it is this. It is, uh, <laughs> why do you think it is hard for men to open up? SMS 22422 or use the hashtag daybreak. Why do you think it's hard for men to open up? Before Shata, uh, I want to ask you. Eh, kukusema, kukusema, tutu. Yes. Wana yu pati mesema, eh, ndo uyeleweke, yu pati mesema, chalia neza open up to demu ingine. I'm not saying it is the right thing, but I'm saying it happens. You get, so it happens, and probably it will lead to an affair. Yeah. It can lead to an affair. Ch no, not necessarily, but chances are it will yeah. lead to an affair. You get, but it happens. You know, lewa. So the, the reason is to to co-op and to discuss now that it happens what is the alternative you yes. get it CJ, happens but it's not the right thing <laughs> and also uh, can it be purely platonic <laughs> 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 well it depends on a lot of factors uh, because it could start as platonic then at some it point moves. somebody might hit a pothole and uh, then the emotions will be all over the place. So it's really dependent on a lot of factors as well. But I, I believe in what he's saying, because I say that all the time, that the secrets of women are with men, and the secrets of men are with women, just not their women, <laughs> just not their women. Uh, because the stakes are lower there. You know, it's easier for Shutterboy to tell non Sizi that I have a child out of wedlock somewhere and uh, she will try to bring in perspective. He will not face the consequences of that confession. But if you say this to your partner, first of all, you'll do rounds around your house just thinking of how do you even bring up this story over here. You want to open up, but mm. you feel the consequences are going to be great, so you don't. Mm. Uh, the general thing, Willis, even as we were talking, I'm just thinking, because I've got uh, some teenage boys, and uh, generally, they try to just recline. They don't want to talk. Mm. You know, at a certain stage in development, boys go quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we lose them. We lose them because we don't draw them into conversations mm. when they go into the cocoon of silence. Girls, as they grow, they become more assertive, yeah, more conversational. So they're talking. But the men, you, you see a boy coming from high school, from, um, when it comes from, the high, from boarding, and he comes home, he's just quiet, and people would say, no, he's chilled out. That's the point where we begin losing boys, because we don't try to draw conversations from them. And then, you know, they have these one-word answers and <laughs> more syllables. Oh, you no, know. no, no, you need, need a whole master class. Writing <laughs> <laughs> boys. <laughs> so at that point, we have to really try to uh, engage them to speak more, to speak about the things they feel, to speak about how their days have been. Because generally what happens, their friends begin to determine their conversations. Mm. So well, how they will dress, their hairstyles, everything they're doing is about how they'll be perceived by their, by their, by their friends. friends. That's okay. And when the parents <coughs> and the family do not pay attention to these boys, you begin losing them to peer pressure. That is where now the pressure of you have to act in a certain way. How could you get hurt in the pitch and cry, you know, and they're laughing at you? Um, how could you wear yellow, <laughs> you <Pink>. know? <laughs> <Pink>. <laughs> Something like that. If we don't reaffirm and have conversations with this man while they're still in teenage, he's not going to be talking when he's 30 because mm. we have lost yeah. it and silence mm. has become a very comfortable place. Mm. Um, so it's, it's not just that men don't like to talk we have to converse with them. The people around men need to allow them to speak about even the most simple thing, the simplest of things. Mm. The, how they feel is important. We shouldn't brush it off because we feel, but you're a man, you should not feel like that. Mm. That is how that person feels. Even, and, and it's this the most irritating thing, even mm. in funerals, you see that we have this thing of a man can't tear up. 
you know, wewe unalia nini man up. I mean, I'm going through grief, surely. This grief doesn't segregate whether you are a man or a woman. Loss is loss, you know. I mean, I don't say you cry in public. If you cry in public, that's fine. Whoever will judge will judge. But can you, I mean, I'm like, what am I See, you already, yeah. you already, already the pressure. <laughs> See, already, <laughs> already, <laughs> already, <laughs> already, <laughs> already, <laughs> already, already, <laughs> Okay, fine. Cry. 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 Fine. 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 Cry. We are like, which camera am I on? Cry. You're already creating trouble. Already right? Okay, I don't know. No, but you understand where I'm coming from. Let me ask you, Nasizi, is it also true that while we are here telling men open up, open yeah. up, open up, yeah. women don't know how to deal with men's emotions because society may foundisha men to be strong and to perceive women as men should be strong. Yeah. So, manume kuja kwa mbe, eh, lakini maze. I'm hurting ABC, ABC. Do women know how to deal with men's emotions? I think... Or rather, they are women. They are women. Hey, you know, are listen, I think what men need... <laughs> don't give me solutions. I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't give solutions. Like, yeah. hey, listen. Hey, you are con't. Hey, don't tell me. Where's you? You're going to go now. You are Don't. Mm -hmm. I think that what when a man decides just to come to you, and even as a third party, the platonic thing that hey, Shata is talking about, <laughs> before you ask for an opinion, listen first. And actually, it's for everyone. One. When someone uh, probably they come to you, they just don't even want a solution. They just want you to listen. Mm. So listen as they pour that. Ah, ah, <laughs> you want to take a solution? Ah, 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 and as a therapist wako. Eh, yani yeah. uliongea ikaisha. Na uku, yani sometimes you just want to be listened to. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. But, Sikiza tu. Ha, unaanza kuongea even ifika katikati anakukata. Sasa every time ana kwa gaki zirelate. Any day you have an issue anataka ku relate nayo. Any day you say this anataka ku relate na zile tu uliongea. You will never have a new issue. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a new issue with you, she will relate it to the things you said. Una get? Another thing, you know, we learn to make grief. Come as easy to grow to cut na ambiwa. Men mourn later. At first, we handle the situation. We do the mm. everything yishe. Then, since you die, the time it will you, catch you up will go mourn later. You get. But since you're in a pile, because the moment you later in a fika, kituingi ne piesha happen yeah. that you maybe need to grieve over. Kuna yelewa. So kuna hizo zime pile, zime pile, zime pile. Unfortunately, you know, we are kupata na sasa na mdem no taka kumambia zote at once. Pia, pia si lazima tu understand that fact that sahi mimi kuwanza kupen up kwa mdem ni mimi tina yeye recently ni ni tambaden bro. Dikianza kumfungu levi tuza kwanzi ya nikiwa high school. How come? Juu, ni mezi pa ye ye. Ata kupa na ye date three. Ujojo kwa nini? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they normally sneak it in, kina nonsizi ya, ujojo date. Another kwa mwame, yeah, maza, you know me, I believe that people are supposed to upright like I was telling my three kids the other day. That sometimes... Come on, guys. They are sneaking into a conversation. Through we sneak in, you sneak in with Mingi over the time. So, I need to open up na vitu kwa kwanzi ya high school. Hame kwa kizi open up, hame kwa kizi yongea. So, akona issues za juzi, hame kwa kizi sneak in. Kwa conversations. Kwa conversations mingi, you know again. So, hachika mkuongelesha, hata kongelesha issues za job. Kama maybe three months ago, but wewe. Ujai kuwa na hiyo safe space umempata leo. Mm. Unaanza kumfungulia diary ya high school. Hadi pale umefika. Hizo vitu zitakuwa mingi time mwenyewe kuziprocess. Mm. Unaelewa? Danger yes, doesn't get, get your thoughts on the same thing that what I was asking on Cynthia as well. As far as women yes they're sneaking it in. But do women really <laughs> do women really know how to handle uh, men's emotions because like you said we are in a society where we are told man up be strong, usilie, unalia nini. So sasa mwanamke apate mwana their man is crying. Do they know how to handle that emotion to s when a man cries? I, I think how women uh, try and comfort men is to embrace soft words, mapenzi. But you see, if you dealing with say problems at work, man, open up with those diage as they are not stress every day. Look at your if you have a oh, hey, other body at work, she'll be like, oh. She let her tell you we pray if she's a prayerful woman or she give you a hug, I'm not a prayerful. How people know how my name are dealing with lazy issues. But the thing is, it's up to you as a man to deal with lazy shit. Yes, opening up is healthy, 
and the, the, the same goes uh, problem. Share is a problem of soul. But after you share and you go through that part healing, it's up to you still to deal and tackle and navigate those rough waters. I think, I think what we're saying is that uh, as a dude, should not, you shouldn't just pile up your drama or your problems and not deal with them. You have to address them. You have to hold the bull by the horns <laughs> and, 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 and just tackle that challenge and, and deal with it. Because if you don't deal with it, you're just uh, procrastinating that that problem. It never goes away. So Harry, you did now say, tackle it and move on. All right, tackling it and moving on is the yet one here. How are we supposed to deal with men's emotions? Oh, no, <laughs> no, we need a from <laughs> <laughs> You see, he's sitting down and listening to you. Me, I'm in preschool. Remember. <laughs> see, yeah, what, what happens when when when? Uh, how should a woman live? Because sometimes. We, we, we say, oh, we can't share with the women, but they don't, some don't know, they don't have a template of how to deal with a man who's emotional and crying. And Look, Wes, it's, it's, it's very interesting how women know how to deal with men before the men become their own. Mm. Um, when they're still, <laughs> <laughs> when they're still out there and dating, they're caring, they're listening, uh, they're encouraging the man, uh, they will, you know, they'll encourage him over things that they're going through in their families, if they were abused by their parents or their fathers, uh, if they went through trauma and mm -hmm. something. There's a way this woman will be acting while they're dating or when they're just beginning to catch up, which is part of the reason that will make this man come here and stick to this woman because he feels she's supportive. Then when they get into a serious relationship, the roles switch. He's supposed to be the man. And part of that being the man now is no emotions, logic. Provide, protect, and do the things that you need to do. If ladies just go back into the place where they started with the man, um, they probably will be more helpful to this person. You need to know when you're dealing with the man as your man, your husband, or your boyfriend, um, or your father, mm. and when you're dealing with the person that needs you emotionally at that particular point. Mm -hmm. Because, and Nonsense is looking at me this certain way, the thing is, the emotional need is just like gastronomical needs. Somebody has to eat. If they are hungry, if they're not eating from home, they will eat from elsewhere. If their needs are not being met at home, emotionally, they will have to be met somewhere else because they cannot just push them away. Um, if they bottle up, all these things, they will play out somewhere else. Either this person then will project them, either on the children or somebody else. There's no way you can wish away emotions. Somehow they've got to be expressed. Somehow those needs have got to be met. So trying to keep somebody whose emotional needs are not being met or whose negative emotions are not being expressed is just living with a time bomb. All right, we have some tweets before. <laughs> Let's take a look at some tweets and what you guys are saying, or girls and girls. Joanne Shikiko says it's because they don't like Hurumiwa, or rather, they don't want to be branded names. The question they ask is why do you think men don't open up? Masin Dungu says men refuse to open up because patriarchy taught men wanaume ni kuvumilia. Also, when a man goes against the norm and opens up, he faces ridicule for not being an African man or those who easy kumanza kubadilika. This is why depression and suicide is higher in men than in women. Asto 254 says it's hard because once he opens up, it will be used against him, just like in the court of law. Engineer Lazaro says men shouldn't just open up so easily. That's our uniqueness. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> but Nama Smeo says, sometimes men do not understand what they feel. That's why we choose to hide our feelings. Falling in love is complex for the majority of men. It's confusing emotions. When a man starts to feel overwhelmed by not understanding what's going on, he retreats to his man cave. That's, uh, those are the tweets that are there. Remember, you can still tweet us using the hashtag um, Daybreak. Send your SMS to 2242. We apologize. I'm told the live stream on uh, Twitter, at least, in may department uh, so however to watch hashtag daybreak two to forty two. Uliza So what I figured is most men are just waiting for you to be able to ask them if 
if you're okay. Like, they, you need to trigger. You, you get what I'm saying? I know you're not okay, but you're not opening up, and like, I see you're not okay, but I don't go, I don't know how to go around asking. No, can you do okay? I say, man. Yeah, yeah, are you okay? Fine. Yeah, that's that's all of us. Even sometimes, now, you <laughs> that question sometimes sounds like a formality. Mm. Yes, that's now. How do you go about <laughs> you, making it? Once you it, say you're fine, and like you're saying, yeah, you can see I'm not yeah. fine. So how do uh, do we make it less formal? Is it? Gosh, it's a breakfast show, but I mean, is it after the do the deed or? No, which is the ideal time? Do you? I mean, what are you supposed to do to get there? Because I think there has to be a route. Shut our route, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. 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 people are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who open up? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Dem kuku liza kwa ukosawa na uonge. You actually talk about. Nani sini kuku liza? Dem kosawa. Okay. Number one, neza kwa sijui yo root, mpia mi badu ni mwana ume kwa pena pibala, but I know what is not the root. Yes. For example, kini uliza uko sawa. It's not the root. It's not the root. Why? Because ndo unulizo wasi wali usha wana siko sawa. Unaget, ni sana umenda kwa mtu, akuliza utakula. Will you say yes? Ata kama uko na njia, naturally utasema pan, niko sawa. Unaget, na masu wali zingine impolite. If you are already getting to a point where you need to ask me, are you okay? It means I'm not okay. You get a way to talk to me. Just bring up I the figure issues. It out. Yes. If you can we, sneak we in. We out. We, we do so it. You do. Sneak in. So sneak in. Zako. Pia sneak in yako. <laughs> Another thing, Omoliza, uh, about how to deal with men's emotions. Number one, the questions you ask after a man opens up to you will determine kama atandila kuopen up na wewe or not. Or the things you say. Imagine you open up to a person who says, I think you need to see a counsel. Na umefuki wape. Umefungulia roo. Umefungulia roo. Alafa wape, I think you need to see a counsel. Huu mtu wamekusaidia mame ukuambia baba ukombaya zaidi. You are a worse of man. I can't handle you. Let me see. DNG, what do you think about that route? What do you think is the route? DNG, what is the route? Because Shata and Azema. Yeah, do you have it? I do you What do you think? What do you think? I don't think this thing has a formula. As a woman, the woman has to just understand her partner because all all men are different. Kunawale ukimbrik kidogo atalia kapisa. Kunawale ata ukimuliza kako sada ana familia sime ni koko. Na ayu koko. So men are different. Learn your partner. By the time this is your man, yani your cohabit, you you've started a family together. You should know him. So you should know how this guy likes to eat. There are those men who like to speak on Sundays. <laughs> so it's all about tact. Other people are saying a woman should use tact and wisdom. So let's uh, say let the women engage that gear of tact and wisdom. But uh, for the guys, I'm not sure. Go for Konge na partner wa ko. Hey, I'm sure go for Konge, Konge. And also, it's I would believe it's safer to speak to that one partner than uh, to speak to another woman who you, you're not very close with or in the bar. You never know, because that's how you find these rumors in a, in a part of, in a part of a gazette. <laughs> this guy is being... What is? Yeah. <laughs> Snitches are everywhere, but I keep talking about him more. So also, opening up is a part of trust. So do you really trust the person you're opening up to, you're giving them all this information about yourself and your personal struggles? That's the good question. <laughs> right, so that is in, nonsense. Keeps on I'm looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because every time she has looked, she's adjusted. She's started less because right. now I'm she's feeling like the whole burden again is coming back to the woman. I should figure out this man. You see, it's, it's just in uh, yeah. at the point when the man is not okay, you are dealing with somebody who is like a patient. So it's not really that the burden is on the woman. If the woman was not okay, then we would tell the man to do the same. If the children are not okay, we would ask the parents to do the same. So this is a situation where you have somebody who is not fine. They emotionally and distraught. they don't know how to get fine. Sometimes they don't know how to get fine. So you're just helping them. Uh, you're trying to get them to become fine. So it is not supposed to be looked at as a burden or 
something that is just being put on you. Sometimes all you need to do is, okay, so Willis Hit is them. in the car. <laughs> no, he's sitting in the car. He doesn't want to talk. Why not just go and open the door of the car and sit over there and say nothing, you know? Sit with him over there, say nothing. Like he wants to take a walk. Ask, can I take a walk with you? You know, and don't say anything. Because you're trying to make this person understand, I'm here willing to know what the issue is and I'm willing to find a solution to it. But when you see the guy walk out and then you're like, okay, you just go ahead and Wait, walk, she, whatever. You kill me. And then how comes on a jewel, how comes uh, your, your, your lady or your partner will know how to get almost everything from you? Except at a jewel, come on, take a dog, walk over to the other side of the road. Come on, come they know how to get you to do that. Sindio, bona pia iyo effort a make up was yeye kujua how do I get Willis to talk. You see, it is just priority. You see, and value to something. Do you value this man's emotions? Okay, or do you think they'll be a burden to you? Mm. If you value this man's emotions, you will get a way to get this man to talk to you. Because the things you value, you have found a way of living with him. You see, mm. how to get him to do ABCD for you also get a way to get his emotions out. You see, it is just work that they mm. need to put in. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. You have to put in, you gotta put in the work. <laughs> you, see, you gotta put in the work, fired up, ready to go. One of the things though that has been mentioned there, uh, somebody, I think it's even one of the last tweets that somebody put there, uh, on, chumvi master to na ombese, ama tuweke, niweke yo tuta chumvi master, yo nye kwa kwa tuandavo. Uh, so even as he puts it up, yeah. there is that thing, uh, there it is. It says, past experience who to, who, who to me share sana alafu, the ladies need to understand the language that men used to open up, not necessarily speaking, but even by actions, behavior, and such. Right. Then there's also Hosea Moses says, women are born, men are made. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? It's <laughs> All right. Uh, there's, there's, somebody else also said that men go to their man cave. Now, maybe quickly before uh, we, can, we, we wind up, we have about two minutes. We can start with you, DNG. How then do men get out of that man cave and your encouragement to men about talking as we wind up? Well, firstly, it's just to create that safe space. I think that has been established. And the safe space can, can uh, I think, is built with trust. If a man trusts a woman that this woman will not go and start with a guy, this woman is not going to use this um, challenge against him in the future. This woman is not going to expose him in the public domain or, or in the family setup or whatever it may be. Then the guy is going to open up. It's the same. It's the same kind of uh, rationale regarding why men find it you know, very easy to open up amongst their peers, their boys who they've grown up with, they've done their shadow with. These are people who trust each other. They know each other's secrets, challenges, weaknesses. Meaning that's why they open up in that kind of scenario. So trust is the key ingredient. Where trust is 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 is, um, is present, there shall be opening up. Without trust, I don't try to trigger and I'm not instead of one year the full story. Now one year two do 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 na in sharp because you don't really get to know the person for who he is and what he's doing. Right. Watch mama uh when kind of the ju 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 and since what would you advise the women now that you've had everything, no, like we, are are saying, women. we are here to discuss. Yeah. How would you, how do you think? Well, I mean, advice about the women and then because I mean, it's something that everybody needs to. Yeah. To so, have. especially for the men, this thing of just bottling up, it doesn't help. You know, do what you need to do. Me, I'm like, open up. Whoever is going to talk after that, I am safe and my mental health is okay because men face a lot, a lot of things, a lot as much as we downplay and say we men have issues. For sure, do men do have issues? A lot of them. So, by the time you're getting to that point of thinking other things, before you get there, talk to someone and identify your safe space. It could be your sane people who are up there, more men who are sane than you. Yeah. And for women, like <laughs> what more I've gathered, sane than you. yeah, what I've gathered from here is figure out your your partner. I think the most important thing is I am there. For someone to know that even if you're not talking, I got you. You mm. know, that language of I got you, I 
walk or just be there. I don't know whatever else needs to be done. Remember, we are in Africa and we deal with things in a very <laughs> mm. <laughs> not emotional way. But be there for both for someone. Even if it's just saying I am, I'm there. Then I think, yeah, I'm there. Yes, All I'm right. here. If See, you need if you need to talk. See, Jody. Well, um, I think the greatest person? pressure comes right from the families that people have grown up in. Mm -hmm. If a young boy expresses himself a lot, the family will be saying, this one normally behaves like a girl. They'll say it very lightly, mm -hmm. but you see seeds are being planted. Uh, probably one will cry, people will be laughing at them. So there's a way that they begin to get affected in their development. They begin to feel that they need to suppress their emotional development if they're very expressive, if they're very open, and they begin to feel like that's not very manly. So they need to, you know, uh, draw back into the cave. We've got to start this right from the families. Parents, do not mock your children. Yeah. You know, don't make fun of them when they are opening up. Uh, some things that you just do jokingly really affect these people till later on. Uh, and don't, don't allow other people to do it, whether it is your siblings who are coming in as uncles and aunts, you know, they make fun of the children, um, the house managers that we have, mm. dealing with kids in a certain way, uh, making fun of them, the kid is crying, then they mock, they, they actually ape how the kid is crying, the boy. We need to go away from those kind of stuff and begin to understand where is this person at emotionally? Why do they express themselves the way they do? And build them up from that side, their personality without trying to change them. Because these are the things that eventually later on show up in relationships, in the workplaces, mm -hmm. show up in friendships where people don't trust anybody. They've been, they've been dealt with in a certain way all their lives, so they have trust issues. So they will always just feel like they need to bottle that up. Then uh, you find this person nearly has two faces. There's who they are in public. Yeah. Then you find this how they behave somewhere else where they feel safe. And you will be like, I never knew Shutter Boy was this kind of a person. But we did not give him the opportunity to be who he wanted to be. So he mastered how to be who we want him to be. Then somewhere else, we will discover there's a different Shutter Boy. <laughs> right there. Yeah. All right. Shut up. Yeah, man. Uh, I think it's a good thing to bring in your toy in a fuck change, mm. which is true. That's a minute I'm going to get my boy already to go up to me a groovy bar. Okay. But you have to get a lot of emotions there too. Number one, one of my own of a good you understand that we only been a dumb. And there is nothing wrong with being human. When you are being emotional, it's not that your body is acting up or in a malfunction, you are just being human and it is okay and it is allowed. You know, statistically, it is said uh, it matters suicide. Madame do jaribu sana suicide, but you are women who are successful more because men go to brutal ways you get in, in committing suicide. It's because a man una get that anger ikondani yake to the point that he needs to be this brutal with himself. It is subtle down there, but a man is bitter with himself because he sees the world, he wants to open up, but he is not allowed to. Therefore, come on, man, woman, it is okay to open up. Just get the right person. The moment you are going to get the right person, you are going to get the right next time you are going to get Get a safe space. safe space and the right person to talk to. Anytime you can issue, you see, in Goja, the bottle labs, you can see some lima doing the condition to Moja Pia and the Kosakuski Liza Mana Yon time. Ukiona issue, you can't do your way young gay. Little Madame would do. Akiona issue, lower young gay issue. Ukiona cash of your young gay. You see, same at Nazi pile in the account does young gay December from January. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. Like. So I guess the, thank you so much to DNG, non CZ, Shata, and CJ. Uh, make sure you follow DNG Kenya, non CZ, Ag Agnes, Shata, underscore boy. CJ at table across all platforms. A reminder for the the men, Nikoma Mona Fakonga, Musona Koma Nikitu Ajabu, listen, Mini Melia, Mimi Nimenda therapy, Mimi Nimongea, now out of sort help. So if I can do it, you can do it too. It is not a preserve of anybody. Kila Muta Konashita and Kila Muta Nafakonga. So don't struggle. Talk to somebody. If you feel you've reached the end of the road, remember every problem has an expiry date, but you need to talk. Talk to somebody you can trust. 
And if somebody has let you down before, even after you open up, not everybody is the same. You can still find that one person who you can talk to and can change your life. So, na mungu pia na kupenda. Mi usema, ata kama leo vila unani watch, unani watch kwa TV ya brothel. God still loves you and that will never change. Peace and love.